Hello guys and welcome to today's episode of How Build where I'm teaching you how to create free 3D animation. Start by going onto Google typing in Art Evolution, going to the downloads tab. Click Mac OS X and then click the Art Evolution installer. This should redirect you to sourceforex.com. Modeling your character is a quite tricky thing. Start with the shape, I'm using a cylinder and just put it right in front of the camera. Um, then you can go to Object create primitive and you can select all these different things but i'm selecting a cone so i'm just going to put it right on top of the cylinder and um see what we have there after you're done playing around with the tools on the left make sure that you have two shapes go to tools and then boolean modeling a boolean model is basically uniting two different shapes so make sure that you only have two shapes that you want to unite others can just be hovering over the body now go to object and select convert to triangle mesh. Now go to edit object. So here you can just play around with your shape using all the different tools on the left once again. I'm trying to make the bottom of the shape more compact. Um, so that's basically what I'm doing here. Now it's time to add your skeleton and I'm assuming that you already know what a skeleton is. So just hold control down and click where you want it to be, you know, where it should be in the body. And when you're done, go to edit, select all, and then go to skeleton and bind points to skeleton. Go to mesh and smoothing method. Just click the one that you think looks better for your um, model. Adding a texture is simple. Just go to scene, set texture, and click add new texture. Label it, and then go to diffuse color and raise the saturation the highest so that you can adjust the hue. Now just play around with the options as seen here. If you want and if you find it necessary, you could add a new camera by clicking the camera icon at your home screen. And this is going to maybe change the way you see it or you can just move the camera around. But I think the lighting is really what makes the difference here. Go to Object, Create Primitive, and use a directional light or um, spotlight. Whatever you think looks the best. I usually use uh, directional light. And just position it at your object through a certain way. Keyframing is tricky. Animation, and then go to Show Score. And then move up that little circle on the way bottom of the screen. Now you're ready. Select your object and go to Animation. And then the first tab, go to Click Pose. Now it's going to say default pose, so just click duplicate and then you can mess around with it and click OK. So then you're going to have your new pose. So now exit out of that menu and get to the beginning of your timeline and go over to actually go over to animation and click add keyframe to selected time or something like that. It's the long and it's near the bottom. Now just move down the timeline about 6 seconds and open up that window again. Click the new pose and click add. Click OK and add your keyframe and you'll be moved. Now simply just move your model where you want it to. You can make it change in the middle of your uh, animation or your transformation at least. Rendering is very simple. Go over to scene and then go to environment. Um, make your the one below solid color, make that green. Then go to scene, render scene. Make sure you have it saved as a movie. There's gonna be an option whether images or movie. Make it 640 by 480. And um, I think that's all you need. So click OK and then make sure it's maxed out as JPEG. I usually make a new folder on my desktop and then I save it into that folder. 